Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a fractal mirror effect in Affinity Photo. This effect places a piece of a face or the subject in an image into multiple panes. This fractal mirror effect can be applied to a variety of different images, but it works best with portrait images. You can apply this to things such as album covers, posters, etc. First, go to File Open and select the image you downloaded. Next, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the black and white adjustment. I want to remove the red and the blue in the image. For the red and green, slide the sliders to the left. This will darken any red and green areas in the image. I set the red to 71% and the green to 65%. Go to the yellow and the magenta and slide those sliders to the right. This will lighten the areas in the image that have yellow and magenta in it. I set the yellow to 110% and magenta to 131%. You can set the percentage of these to your own preference. In the Layers panel, lower the opacity of the black and white adjustment to 80%. Then press Ctrl and click the background layer. Right click on the selected layers and select Merge Visible. This will place all of our changes onto one layer. Turn the original image and the adjustment layer off. We need to create the mirror panes now. Select the new layer. Grab the rectangular marquee tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and make a selection from the top left of the image to about this size. Then drag the selection down. Once you've dragged the selection down to the bottom, press Ctrl and J. The area we made a selection of will be placed onto a new layer. Now select the image layer again. Grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. Take the Move tool and drag a guideline from the ruler's area and place the ruler on the right side of the selection box. If the rulers aren't active, press Ctrl and R to activate them. Next, grab the Rectangular Marquee tool again from the Tools panel. Make sure the four bold arrows are showing. Then take the selection box and move it to the right of the guideline. Also, make sure the image layer is still selected. After that, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. We're going to do these steps until we get to the other end of the image. The number of panes you have will depend on how big or small you've made your selection box. Switch back to the Move tool. Then drag the guideline onto the right side of the selection brush. After that, grab the Rectangular Marquee tool and move the selection to the right side of the guideline. In the Layers panel, select the Image layer, then press Ctrl and J so that the selection can be placed onto a new layer. I'm going to speed up this part here to finish creating the other panes. Don't forget to make sure the Image layer is selected before pressing Ctrl and J. Also, make sure that the four bolded arrows show before you go to move the selection box. Once you've finished making all the panes, take the Move tool and drag the guideline to the left back into the ruler area. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect. I have seven panes, but you may have more or less depending on the size of your selection box. Grab the Crop tool from the Tools panel. We want to make the document size bigger. Stretch the left and right side outward by stretching the middle nodes on the left and right side. When you're done, hit Apply. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel layer to add a new layer. Drag the layer above the image layer with the new layer still selected, go to the Edit menu. Select Fill with Secondary Color. The pixel layer should be filled with black. Also, the pixel layer should cover up the rest of the area we expanded. If it doesn't, take the Move tool and expand the pixel layer to cover the area on both sides. In the Layers panel, turn off the Image layer. We'll now spread the mirror panes across the document. Select the first pane on the right side. Press the Shift key and drag the pane all the way to the right side. Then select the pane on the left side. Press Shift and slide it all the way to the left side. With the other panes, we want to make sure that they're spread out with the right amount of space between them. 
Press shift and slide each pane to its respective side, making sure you leave space between each one. Then select all the panes. Go to the alignment panel and select space horizontally and hit apply. With the panes still selected, press Ctrl and G to group the panes together. Then press Ctrl and J to duplicate the group. Label the original group bottom and the duplicated group top. Select the bottom group. Go to the filters menu. Select Blur Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 5 pixels. The group will be converted into a pixel layer. Press Shift and slide the bottom group to the left. You want to slide it to the point where the face is connected. Now select the bottom group again. Click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Check the Color Overlay box and select it. Set the Blend Mode to Normal, the Color to Black, and set the opacity to 40%. After that, select the top group. Click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Check the Bevel and Boss box and select it. Set the type to Outer. Unlink the radius and the depth. Next, set the radius to 10 pixels and the depth to 100 pixels and the soften to 5 pixels. Then go to the highlight area. Set the blend mode to normal, the color to black, and the opacity to 100%. After that, go to the shadow. Set the blend mode to normal, color to black, and the opacity to 50%. Next, click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel to add a new layer. Make sure this layer is at the top of everything. With the new layer selected, go to the Edit menu. Select Fill with Secondary Color to fill the layer with black. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel. Now go to the Basic Brushes and select one of the round soft brushes. Go to the Context toolbar and set the width of the brush to the max, which is 4096 pixels. Set the Opacity and the Flow to 100% and set the Hardness to 25%. Once you've done that, go to the Swatches panel. Select the white color. Take the brush and click once in the center of the document. With the pixel layer selected, go to the Layers panel and change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Other blend modes you can use are Color Burn, Linear Burn, Darker Color, Soft Light, and Average. You just need to make adjustments to the opacity to get the desired look you want. If you want to show more of the panes, select the Fill Pixel Layer, then press Ctrl and Shift and take the Move tool and stretch the layer out from the top right corner. You can add another element to this effect by adding color to the panes. This part is optional though. To do this, select the bottom layer in the Layers panel. Then click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Gradient Map Adjustment. Click on the green color stop and click Delete beside Reverse. Then press Reverse to change the color stop directions. Now click the blue color stop. Go to Color. Select the RGB hex sliders. You can set it to whatever color you want. I set it to the following hex code 2444E7. Then select the red color stop. Go to color and set it to the following color, C3F681, or you can set it to another color of your choosing. Lower the opacity of the layer to about 85%. After that, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the gradient map layer. Drag the duplicated layer above the top layer. You could leave it like this with the same colors, or you can change the colors for the top layer. To change the colors, double click on the white square of the gradient map layer. Click the blue color stop and change the color to whatever you want. The hex code for the color I'm using is DC779F. Then select the light greenish color stop or whatever other color you had chosen and change this color. The hex code for the color I use is 41FD87. After that, lower the opacity of this layer to about 60%. 
and this is how to create a fractal mirror effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.